All right, Hugo. Uh, man, we got the new album. We got the new album coming out, man. It's exciting. I know. It only took it only took like almost four years to make. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like to pace myself. You know. Well, yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked, man. I honestly, I am like studioed out, and that's how I get I go in the studio for like sometimes like just years, and I just go on a writing like marathon and then I'm just going on a touring marathon so I'm ready for a touring marathon alright I'm ready for a touring marathon yep. myself gosh ready, I crazy ready to see you guys on yeah. the road man yeah it's gonna be awesome man got a lot of surprises got a lot of things happening you know those secret things that are gonna be happening in the stage performance it's gonna be awesome alright man yeah man the new album 37 channels comes out in about two and a half, three weeks. I think three weeks from yeah. today, actually. September 17th. Yes. Man, it's for today. what? Yeah, man, everything I've read so far, I had a chance to check it out yesterday. And it is Yeah, man, I, I love it, dude. It's, um... Pretty. Yeah, it's great, man. There's a lot of acoustic mixed in with heavy material in there. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you know... When I started, my, I kind of wanted on this record. I mean, you got to understand, I wrote so many different types of genres. I would just start songs. Sometimes I end up writing a freaking bossa nova. I'm like, what the hell am I freaking doing? You know? Right. Yeah. But I know I wanted to kind of, I knew that being that it's this record we recorded, but technically the fifth. And I, I wanted, I was so particular that I wanted it to, have a little bit of everything, you know, the first incarnation and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of a mixture of everything, of all the sound transformations that we've been through. <laughs> but, but then just push the envelope. And, and I think a lot of that was actually in the songwriting itself and just picking the right musicians to play a certain part. Yeah, it's there's a, a couple guest guest spots, uh, guest vocalists and uh, appearances yeah. on this record yeah. too. You know, it was just like I said. I mean, I wrote nearly 120 songs for this record, and I actually and this is over a three-year period. And out of that, I recorded 19 of them. Well, I recorded all 120 of them in my own studio, uh -huh. you know, or more, who knows. That's right, I think last time I counted, it was like 116 or wow. right, right there. <laughs> um, and I recorded and played all the instruments on that when I was at my house, which I have a studio that is like my whole half of my house. And then after that, I dwindled those down into 19. And even when it was, that was happening, it was just hard to pick 19. And then yeah. and I had to dwindle those into 13. But there's the good thing is that there's six more on top of this. So hopefully, you know, this record kind of, you know, I, I took my goddamn time on it. I know, God forbid, you know, not no blasphemous, but <laughs> I took my time on it. But... But I'm really, really proud of it. I think that it really will show, you know. So yeah, it's all you can do is your best. It's definitely a record to be proud of, man. It was I listened to it from start to finish yesterday, and it's one of those records that, like, you start it and you you can't turn it off, man. You you keep on wanting to hear what's coming next and coming next and coming next. I think it's got a lot of. Um, the songs are different and I think it takes you places and it's not there's not a skipper in there you know okay. yeah. I mean I can recognize songs that I've recorded on my records that sometimes in retrospect when I go back and listen I'm like oh this one is is my favorite you know but this record just doesn't have that feeling at least to me and I think that a lot of it is because of the dynamics of having different players and different guest artists that are you know, and you know that I was fortunate enough to have relationships with her. I'd be like, you know, we got Shooter to come up and do Mosquito with me, which is like perfect. You know, and I've known Shooter Jennings for over ten years. You know, so and I have Kenny Olson, who I've known for over twenty years. You know, play guitar on it, and Kevin from Uncle Cracker, who I've known for over ten years. You know, it's just these are all musicians that I've jammed with my whole life. So, 
it was kind of you know, a brainer to bring him in then you've known him for it was really it was really it, I swear to God when I actually I called my friend Chris Henderson from Three Doors now and I'm like listen man I just signed a new deal you know basically I'm with Sony now <laughs> I got these songs nobody's touching them I'm coming there I'm producing it because I wanted at that point to get out, out of my environment <laughs> so Chris like come on down man so I ended up spending like almost three months in Nashville after I already had all this tracking done, just retracking everything and, and like flying in certain people and to get everybody that I wanted on it. So it was kind of a huge endeavor that came a lot easier than I expected. Yeah, man, when, when you put all that work into it, man, a lot of the reviews I've read so far myself have been very positive. I haven't read a whole lot of bad about the record. Um, is that something that you well, pay attention to? I, I really, I mean, kind of, uh, yeah, you do. I mean, everybody likes to hear mm-hmm. that, you know, that they like your shit. I mean, that's just common sense. I mean, don't you like people to say, hey man, that article you wrote on Tantric, that was really well written, or or whatever you, you know, that interview you did, it was good. You know, everybody likes to do that, but at the end of the day, you know there's always going to be just certain people that are just going to be like, here goes a fucking dick. <laughs> you know? <laughs> no, that's the reason. You know, like, I don't know what the heck happened, like, you know, maybe his dog got hit by a car, right, and his breakdown was playing one day, and he just associates me. <laughs> For this like horrible person and I'm like man I don't even know you dude I've never met you life is so okay and they'll just go out of their way and just like be hating on your stuff right. like on your page I'm like I hate I hate like I hate like passion fruit I don't go to passionfruit.com and just rant me <laughs> <laughs> you know it's like okay I, I get it thank you for your opinion this is for <laughs> fan it's called a fan page for Damn. Bad, you know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't fuck yourself, Paige. Right. So when you put all of this work and so many years into a record, like thirty-seven channels, and then you go and you read the positive, and people are people are loving wow. it. I'm just saying, incredible feeling. I mean, you know, the first reviews that I got were like beyond what I even like. I, I you know, I just saw people were just gonna like. No, I don't know. You always just kind of like got one foot back with those. You know, you prepared yourself for so many go. This is the worst piece of shit ever. But you know that it isn't, so they don't really bother. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, no, trust me, I'm my own worst critic, and I think everybody is. I think I'm everybody. I'm happy with it, and you know how. I think everybody who's a writer in some way is the worst critic because I know that for me when I write a review or write something personal you know I'm my own you're worst not, critic everyone's like oh that's really good I'm like I don't but you're like I shouldn't have I shouldn't have laid out that sentence structure that way exactly <laughs> and it's like, you're like I totally I, you know yeah. I hit the mic shot too early or whatever yeah it's like why did I start it that way you know <laughs> right but you then you try to do like innovative ways of, of starting articles, you know, or just music, and then you end up going back to the basics because they work for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just trying to, just trying to over fucking think something. That's why I think it's like in any type of art, including you know writing articles, you know, there's it's an art form in itself. Mm-hmm. It's just like the times when they just flow right out of your mouth. You know, yeah. other times that they're writing good stuff, or else it's really it tends to be like exactly like that. Like, oh, I gotta write a good article, or I gotta make a hit song. Mm-hmm. You know, when you're just like jamming and having a good time, and all of a sudden you get a you get a song, and you're like, wow, that's a bad motherfucker. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, that's right. how I felt about Mosquito. Yeah, yeah the, that's such, such a killer song. I mean, yeah, it just, makes you want to just like, dude, man, when that hook, you know, and I was. I contemplated so much whether to let that whole introduction be just acoustic. I mean, you don't even know. I recorded like five different versions because I'm like, you know, are people going to wait the 33 seconds it takes to get to the chorus where their faces are going to be knocked off? Yeah. And I just totally rolled the dice. (laughs) But I think the anticipation of that chorus hitting in, because everybody's like, okay, it sounds like this. And then that chorus hits in, and it's just like, you definitely know you're there. <laughs> yeah, man. You're there. 
It sounds like you really oh. wanted to make a statement with this record, man. Especially with yeah. like, you want to, you're like, this is the record that I'm going to say it how it is, and exactly. you're going to sit Do here and you're hear it. To. You know? <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like. I've been doing this, I've been in the since 1999, so you gotta think about how many years I've been doing just tantric alone, not to count the prior years of being in this business, but um, the thing is, it's like when you get a little older and wiser in, in, in this sort of business, you know you, you know that there's only so many things you can control in life, and making a piece of shit record or not is one of them. <laughs> when this, the way at least I was looking at it, it was like, and, and I, I pretty much put it all on the table. Anything I had to say, I said. Anything I wanted to do, I did. And I really didn't compromise myself for anybody. I think that makes a good that, record, too. You know? Yes. It's a good, you know, it's a, something to see your seven done. But when you do do it, you realize that, you know, it's a cliche. That people always say, if you go, if you uncompromise, if you don't compromise yourself, everything will be a lot better in the end. But it, it is there is truth to it. Exactly, man. Um, so we got a tour coming up to to support the record. I mean, I know it's out in three weeks. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely going to be touring, man. I, I can't wait to get out of there. I can't wait to get on the road. But right now, I'm going to be filming a, a video hmm. in like the next, like literally a few days, probably. And it's going to be hilarious, by the way. The video is insanely comical, <laughs> which I've never done something before. But I thought I'd just make it really funny with them. But, um, and uh, after that, I plan, like, just on being on the road as much as possible because God knows I've been at my house for way too long. Right. My friends are going, like, we're sick of you. Go on tour. <laughs> I'm like, but I think I'm gonna write two more songs, guys. <laughs> it's like, like yeah, we're not done yet. We gotta keep writing, you know. Yeah. Like, were you writing a box set? <laughs> yeah, my friends were starting to get pissed. It's like bonus tracks, man. Bonus tracks. Yeah, yeah I like <laughs> bonus records. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that will be cool. I, it'll be all worth it. And, you know, I, I just encourage people to go check it out. Yeah, man. I it's and a, pretty buy it and don't only go download it. Yeah, to there's something about having the actual copy of the record that you worked your hard, oh. hard earned money to get. You know the yeah, that makes but it, not only that, but better. not only that, but the artwork is like really about like my family and like it's it's like pictures of me when I was like four years old, like playing accordion to like pictures of my parents' wedding. It's like literally like a little chronicle of like how the hell. I've gotten here at this point in life mixed with pictures of it's just kind of a hallway through my life and and the artwork in itself that was actually made by my brother who he, he's a designer <laughs> and uh, he owns a company called Sketch Tank and basically he designs artwork and he knows me better than anybody so it's a really personal and the artwork is super cool and it totally matches the whole flow of the actual track listing so it's thought out in multiple different ways you know awesome man so when you go on tour man what are some of the cities that you it's like an absolute must that you you've got to hit these markets and these cities because they're just they're good cities to be in what are some of the best places for you i mean honestly i i think that when I'm on tour, like the, the, it's always nice to be able to go on tour and it happened to be in Paris, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's always nice to, for it to be, kind of have a free trip and go get paid and play, you know? That'd be cool. But really, at the end of the day, what makes the best shows has nothing to do with the size of the city. It really just has to, to do with like the, the audience, you know? Because I've seen like a, an audience of 1,000 people make as much noise as an audience of 10,000 people. Yeah. And just that energy is so symbiotic with the, you know, ingredients that is required for a really good concert, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, man. I saw... Back in July, earlier this month, I saw Hailstorm play a show. There was maybe it was a sold out yeah. crowd of maybe eight hundred people, and those yeah, people, those eight, yeah, man, those eight hundred people sounded louder than twenty five thousand people. It was, yeah, it was. And you know what? I'll say one thing. I, I've, I've known her. Your name is Lizzie or Libby. Yeah, yeah Lizzie. Yeah. 
I, I've known her since like way when they started. You know, I think we were when they started it was like maybe oh eight when mm -hmm. Down and Out was coming out, and I was like, this girl's. I mean, obviously incredibly beautiful. That's easy to say. And her brother's a sweetheart too. Yeah. And I'm like, this girl. She's got such a cool voice. You know, it's just good to have some female rockers out there, and mm -hmm. you know, to be gorgeous to that. You know. Yeah, definitely. It's a good day. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, uh, they're, good. <laughs> they're a great live band. Uh, but what I'm looking forward to is seeing you guys on the road because I personally have not seen Tantric live, and um, uh, it's definitely I have a lot planned for this performance. It's going to be fun. You know, if you've never seen a Tantric show, you know, it's just that. Um, you know, I want the actual show to be as creative as the actual the record is, so I'm going to try to, within the budget and realms of the reality, mm -hmm. to create a, a great personal and visual experience as well. Awesome, yeah. It's going to be great. To, it's going to be great to see this material play live, along with so, obviously some of the some of the old classics. You know, yeah. it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great show, a uh, great tour. Yeah. Hopefully, you. Maybe. But right now, we just want people to buy the records, you know, yeah. and that would be that would make me happy as shit, and then I'll be by there, and I'll rock your ass off. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Guys, go buy the record. Don't download it. Buy it. It's just, it's better to have it bought, not even download it off of iTunes, physically bought. Yeah, I mean, physical copies are what's up. That's what's yeah. cool. It's like, I'd rather have a calendar of a naked chick just some, than some JPEG of one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> So, kids, listen to Uncle Hugo here. <laughs> All right. Life lessons. Life Thanks. lessons. Life lessons. <laughs> well, hey, man. Uh, but listen, man, I appreciate the support and, and yeah. your time, and thanks for, for spending your time and, and talking about